Guys, if you told me a little short clip I made in the airport lounge would blow up the way it did yesterday, I wouldn't believe you, but here we are. My name is Amanda Juice, and I'm the founder and creator of Baby's Best Sleep. Uh, I'm at my company retreat in Mexico right now. Uh, we're hosting about 20 people here, and I just woke up, and we absolutely have to make a response video today. <laughs> So many, many, many of you wrote that you were able to transition your two-year-old without any problems. They sleep like a dream. That's great. You don't need me. Awesome. But for the large majority of you uh, and many of my clients, uh, you will need to find a way to safety-proof your child in if you're removing them for their crib. And, you know, for many of you, it makes sense to remove your child for the crib. Uh, many of you in the comments mentioned that your child was either too large or too tall for their crib, uh, and they no longer met the safety requirements for the crib, and they needed to be moved. That does make sense. And in that case, you absolutely should be moving your child when there is a safety concern. But when you do move your child for that safety concern, you also have to make sure that they are truly safe. And the misstep that many of my clients make is not securing the door in some way. So securing the door might mean putting a knob handle on the inside so they can't leave, putting a gate, or something called a door monkey that keeps the door a little bit open um, and ajar but closed so your child can't leave. And although your child is doing great now and might continue to do great forever, unfortunately, for those who do decide the realm to, to roam, they are not going to announce to you the night before, hey, I'm gonna leave my room. You are going to wake up in the middle of the night and find your child around the house. At the very least, they're gonna come find you in your room. And if you're not okay with that, that's gonna be troublesome for your sleep. We seem like a safety forward crowd. So in that case, in addition to securing doors, we need to make sure that all furniture is latched to the wall, all cords are stringed or tied up high or taped away, and that there's nothing unsafe in your child's room. Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy the crib transition, and I'll be talking more about this this week.